Hello and welcome everyone back to episode 2 of the MotoGP 22 career but now before we jump on track at Mandalika in Indonesia we have a small bit of work to do in the headquarters now we have our first engine upgrade on we're instantly going to go straight back in another one we're going to automatically assign staff leave it like that the game knows best three weeks and we get another torque increase Two upgrades to the engine should help me throughout the season as we look to be struggling small bit for pace and especially a little bit underpowered. But now, time to jump in to Indonesia. So, for the end of practice, at the end of FP3, we're in P4. The pace wasn't that good throughout the session. I went out in P3 or practice three, just went round and round. I was about five and a half seconds off my first few laps. Slowly start to understand how to ride this bike a bit better and um, was riding power two, medium, medium, did a good kind of long run, every lap quicker, break and later, got a bit more comfortable, adjusted the setup slightly just to uh, increase the chances of less stoppies, so I was just having better front end feeling. Uh, I will show the setup before the race if I do tend to run it, because at the end of free practice three, I was still in last, but three tenths off of the last rider, and I decided to stick two softs in, drop a bit of fuel out, and go power three, and that put me up into P4, so, uh, maybe we're a bit out of position, but I don't know, but I'm happy that I'll be directly through to Q2 in Mandalika. So into the final corner we come. Unfortunately, this is my third attempt, and I've made mistakes on both laps so far. One, I had a mass wheelie in the penultimate corner, that cost me my lap. The second lap, I invalidated it in the fast corner of turn six, and... Uh, I was up in sector one as well, believe it or not. I had Alberto Sora maybe a second uh, and a bit ahead of me, so I had a good little marker. So we'll see what we can do on this lap. I really need to get a lap on the board now, though. Deep into three. The temperatures are up quite a bit, though, from FP3 when I was doing my fast laps of the weekend. Way through there again. Are really affects you if you touch it to there. Quarter of a second off, we're late on the brakes now. It's the best I've got that corner all weekend, surely. We'll find a bit of time in this sector. Just kissing the limiter through here, risking it all in these fast corners. Lost a bit of time through there. What can we do now in this final sector? Kissing the limiter in sixth. We're really pushing this front tire. I've completely overheated it. Thankfully, the last corner is a left hander and I don't have to use it. Oh, big bobble on entry. Out to the curb. Definitely nearly eliminated that. It's going to be 39.8. That's a pretty average lap time. Um, going to try and go again if we can. So, unfortunately, we did run out of time and weren't able to set another lap. So, we ended qualifying down in P17. So, second last down with the home favourite, Mario Adji. So, we'll have our work cut out. Um, P31 in Qatar, P17 here. We have better pace, maybe. I believe the race is cloudy overcast temperatures so the temperature won't be as high which should in theory be better for me but um, I'm looking forward to this race I do really enjoy riding this track but the uh, AI are a bit crazy around here so I'm a bit, bit scared but let's jump in let's see how we get on in the race so we are going to run medium medium for me it's the best tire so far and with these slightly overcast temperatures I think I can really push these tires for the race and should have an overall better race. I just want to show off myself quickly. I've just made a small adjustment to the front spring hardness and the front swing arm, which is the front forks compression. I uh, don't think I've done, actually I did increase the, the rear shock uh, extension as well, just a touch. And I've lengthened my rear swing arm basically, the swing arm position plate and the length, just a small, small tweak there just to improve braking and I do feel like it hasn't helped. So I'm gonna leave the tank full. We're gonna jump in now. It's going to be a long race here. John McPhee with a soft front. That's going to be a bit spongy. Medium, medium is the way to go. I'm hoping for top 15. I should hopefully be able to get in and mix with these boys. I feel a bit better equipped. 
around here than I did compared to Qatar where I was just all over the place, didn't have a good feeling with the bike. Around here I'm a little less off the limit but I, I still don't feel like I have the pace of the top 10 so let's get in, let's see what we can do. The lights will go out in a few seconds and the Indonesian Grand Prix will get underway. I have no game audio, what the hell? Oh, what a launch I got. Oh, let's go to the outside. Don't really like going to the outside. Be brave on the brakes, so is... That's Mino. Up into the top 15, I don't know how long we'll stay here though. Oh, that's... I believe Mino or was it Sora dropped a few positions there and we got a track limit warning our teammate is looking at the inside of us the other teammate oh huge moment on the curve oh Bertolini is absolute or that's not Bertolini who's behind me that's Bertelli oh I we'll have to send it into this breaking zone I think I got that wrong Oh, I've lifted up. I'm not sure I lift up because all the liveries are wrong, so I can't tell who's who. It's the MTU team, the other team that I could sign for. So already losing the battle to the boys in front or getting away. We can work together, man. Might catch them. These curbs are ridiculously bumpy. Again, being dive bombed. The power three, we have a good bit of fuel on board. I'll try and move into the final corners. Double overtake, possibly, if I can get it stopped. Oh, I got sandwiched. I'll have to be aggressive into the final corner, try and sit him up. Not the best exit. Try and just stay out of their slipstream, keep me out of their slipstream. Lap one of six, done. Now, if I have a bit of clear track, I might be able to get onto the pack here. It's all about if I don't get dive on from behind, which I can't say for sure. More riders down front. Can't, again, couldn't see exactly who that was. Riders really pick a good exit over there. I don't seem to get a good exit at all. Not a big moment that time through there, thankfully. But through the sector here, the fast stuff, the power stuff, the AI just have something on me. I'm overheating the rear tyre. That's a bit alarming. Big crash again. That is Ivan Artola, I believe. So we're actually in the points now. Moray again, we battled a lot in Qatar with him. Again, though, if they just dive on me in the wrong place. I don't I want to be carrying loads of corner speed through here but I just have to go slightly defensive over the way they ride. I'm having trouble though with my rear tire already this is alarming. Again we seem much quicker in but we've got this wrong. Got this badly wrong. Oh I see try and hold it though. Okay, and slipstream over teammate. Bartolini is in P15, we're just outside the points. The pace isn't that hot at the moment, 13 and 1 from Artigas in the lead. In these conditions on Saturday morning, I managed almost as quick as that. Whoa, front on the move through there. It's really going to hamper my line through here. Let's one of the Aspar bikes through. Run wide. That's going to be another track limits warning. And that's a huge one. Totally not crash. I was literally expecting to go down. That's cost us any points today, I reckon. Our rear tyre is still so hot. That's very annoying. We're going to be brave on the brakes. Again, they just re dive you. They're so aggressive.
cannot get in a rhythm with these madmen. The annoying part is I am quicker than these guys that just can't use my pace because they just seem so good on corner entry and they seem to get a better exit than me in most places. Might need to start using more fuel a bit often. Again, I got sucked in by them in front. Don't seem to have the stability under the front in the race. What is that? Like, he just pushes me across the curb. And now we're down into P24. Our lap times are plummeting here because we're getting dive bomb left, right, and center. It's quite frustrating. And we're down! We have down our first proper mistake of the season and that surely is going to cost us any chance of finishing anywhere near the points today. Disaster in Mandalika. So, Xavi Artigas comes home with the victory. John McPhee once again on the podium alongside John McPhee. Fortunately, we did not finish that race after crashing out. Rookie mistake by myself, but when you have the AI on 120%, and all assists off and you're just absolutely on the limit everywhere with these guys they're just so aggressive so i think the key is the one thing i'll take away from this weekend is that i just need to maximize my qualifying and try and get a good start and see what i can do because when i have clear track i can ride well but i got really flustered once again in the bunch of the same as in qatar so we need to kind of figure that out and see how we can kind of get away from them a bit better so we're going to have to really prioritize qualifying in the future so we are down to P20 in the championship, so not a good start. We are already a long way off John Messia in the championship lead. So unfortunately, a really disappointing weekend overall. Some small positives to take. We did have some good pace on our own, but we just really need to fix the fix the close quarters with the AI. We're struggling a lot. We're just getting beaten up a lot, but we are going to look at some minor frame upgrades we have a better reactivity one we're going to build that on again automatically assign them to two weeks and um yeah we'll see what that does so two weeks for that if we go to the engine one does that mean there's still going to be two weeks oh that's going up to five weeks now so i'm gonna to have to put more men on that um who's most are you're 50 on the engine that brings down to three weeks i'll just do that because that's one extra just down to three weeks and then the frame one goes up to, oh no, wrong one, frame goes to three weeks as well. So then in three weeks we got a nice nice upgrade for the frame, a new engine part, a new frame. So three weeks time will bring us, we'll get it for Porto Mau and we'll have a, a new upgrade. So again, we're going to have to stick with the bike we have now until Porto Mau, Texas, Thermos up next. Um, I'm usually good around Texas so hopefully we can get some points there and maybe around Thermos again it's a power track so we might be in trouble there but I am going to leave it there for today's episode 2 of the MotoGP 22 career if you did enjoy today's episodes of career mode if you could consider subscribing down below I'd be massively appreciative drop a like if you enjoyed my struggles and I shall catch you all in the next video thank you for watching bye bye